how can you properly design emails from technological perspective so your emails is responsive it's a proper setup for dark mode and it's not 100 percent image based emails there is special tool that i would demo in a second with you and you will be convinced how to solve those issues so your email is responsive it's not image based have accessibility for people who has disabilities and it's compatible with the dark mode on apple devices so let's start andrew you did create email love figma plugin but why and for whom on emaillove.com we curate the best email designs um I talk about them, I write about them, and if you go in here, you can see everything about an, an email. Here's what I like about it, here's the key features of an email. What I noticed was a lot of the emails I was posting had really beautiful designs, but there were a lot of them were image-only emails. So here's a good example. This is an image only email. Everything in here is basically a sliced up uh, image, which is pretty common practice these days, but uh, I felt like there was an opportunity to help lifecycle teams and marketers and designers create better emails uh, with HTML text that looked great across devices in dark mode. And I thought these teams are collaborating often in Figma. And so why not build a Figma plugin where you could export your design directly from Figma to your email platform like Clavio or MailChimp or, or Iterable, you know, while adhering to best practices, enhancing accessibility, uh, making sure the email looks great across all email clients and devices and enabling these, these, te these smaller teams to create, you know, stunning emails that, that adhere to those, those best practices. So did I hear it correctly? So your tool, your plugin would allow us image-based email so basically create beautiful design in Figma and in the past without your plugin, it will end up as an image-based email, but with Figma, we can export from Figma to Clavio or any ESPs and it will be kind of image plus text, native text. Yes, exactly. So t typically in the past, a lot of designers would create their email in Figma and then they would slice it up into different images. And then they would just put that into into Clavio, for example, um, and it would be a you know an all image email. It would look it would look good, but it would also not have any HTML text. Um, it wouldn't be as responsive on mobile, uh, and it wouldn't look as good in dark mode. And so the the Figma plugin enables you to do that in a very fast and efficient way directly in Figma. The yes. funny thing is it is like co coincidence. We didn't plan it, but oh, yesterday I, I made a post about this e email, which look, as you can see, this image uh, speaks louder than any words, but basically it's probably beautiful email that they created, but this is how it loaded on my slow uh, internet on my phone when I were sitting in like local brewery uh, so basically i like I, I did a snapshot but if i'm just end user not email marketing specialist here or expert i would probably skip because i don't care i don't know what those question marks is and so forth so i think your plugin solves at least this issue that instead of those question marks by using your plugin i will be able to see the email Correct? Even on slow. Correct. Right. Correct. A lot, and it's likely that this email has text that's contained in an image that could easily be created as HTML with the plugin. Uh, and, and so the funny, funny thing you said, there's Omar, he said there's some kind of new U, um, European Union regulation that will be in effect soon about accessibility of email. So this is uh, would be no go. Uh, uh, because there's no old tax. There's uh, people who are listening emails, not reading emails, but listening emails. It must have some accessibility features and it would be law in uh, European Union soon. Exactly. Okay, so this is this is Figma. Um, I'll give you a, a quick demo of, of how it works. And so the first step is really to create a, a frame in, in Figma. And so as you can see here, this created a a frame and this is basically the container so this right. is 
the think of this as like the table where we will put all of our content. And the fastest way to use the plugin is really to start from the, the 40 plus pre-built components that we've had that we've added. Uh, and so the the idea is to build out the structure of your email and then customize it for your brand. And so I'm going to build out an email very quickly just to show you how it works. They go to is content. Is it possible to? Is it if we already have email, let's say in Figma, but not using your plugin? How hard is to convert that design and put it inside of your plugin? Everyone is asking me that uh, you you would have to recreate it with these components. Ah, okay. I am working on a feature where we use AI to basically scan the email and then ingest it into the plugin for you in seconds. I'm still still working on that, but I, I realize that that is a very common use case. And I, I also myself have tons of existing emails in Figma that I want to import into the plugin. So we will be addressing that uh, in the near future. Great. But right now you would you'd have to quickly build out your structure. So this is like the, the skeleton of the email. So I'm going to add a header, an image, like a, a title, a paragraph of text, a button, and then maybe like a, a subsection, like a two column section here, uh, and then maybe a, a footer. And so obviously this is all currently email love branded, but using Figma, you can very quickly customize the styling, the design. Uh, you can obviously update all the fonts, the font padding, basically use Figma's tools on the right-hand side to do that. So if I wanted to like center align text, I can do that. Is there any limitation? Like is there any limitation using your plugin box? I mean, this like container in comparison to designing uh, from scratch in Figma, is there any limitation? I wouldn't say there's limitation. There's definitely guidelines. And so uh, the way it works is on the on the left-hand side here, you can mm -hmm. see there's a wrapper, there's a section, there's columns, and then there's text. For the content to work with the plugin, it needs to be in this structure. You can't just create any design and have it export with the plugin. It needs to be built with this structure in mind because the way it works is we use MailJet markup language to transform these tables, columns, and, and content uh, into email-friendly uh, HTML. Okay. Um, so how does it work with the dynamic blocks inside of ESPs? Let's say we use a lot of Clavio. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any features uh, like to add dynamic blocks or? Right now you can definitely add in your merge tags. So if you want to add in like, like a, a first name tag, you can do that and it will pull it in as HTML. So this could mm -hmm. be like whatever your, whatever tag you want to merge in as text. Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently in the next few weeks going to enhance our Clavio integration, uh, where all of this content will be editable within Clavio's drag and drop email builder. Oh, wow. uh, and so when that is enabled, you'll then be able to use Clavio's native uh, drag and drop tool to pull in your product recommendations, your abandoned cart uh, content directly in, in Clavio is where you would do that. I don't think we will, I'm not sure if you'll be able to do that directly in Figma ever, but enabling it within Clavio, I think is is probably the, the, the first step. And uh, like I said, that's coming out in the next few weeks. So nice, look nice. out for that. Uh, where, by the way, where people can stay up to date with your product releases, updates, what's on our roadmap? Is there a newsletter or something? Yeah, I would sign up uh, for, on emaillove.com. Um, I would firstly go to the, the Figma uh, community page, uh, search for email love, uh, and you'll see the plugin. Um, you can try it out for free. Uh, and then if you sign up for the email love newsletter, uh, we will keep you updated uh, on the latest releases and, and updates for the plugin as well. Cool. Okay, so when you did this design, let's say you like how it looks, what, what, what is the next step? So the next step is probably to preview the message. And so you can do that by selecting your frame and then clicking on the preview button. And then you can see how it looks on desktop, on iPhone, on uh, iPad mini, Samsung Galaxy. Uh, it's going to show you how that looks. And you can see here, well, this has a lot of padding, right? Like this, uh -huh. this subheader, this is too much yeah. space. And so if I just go back one step, I just want to show you really quickly. If I select that subheader, and then click on mobile styles, I can see that it's applying 
an 80, 80 pixel padding. And okay. so if I change that to 20 uh, and then go back and, and preview it, we can, it, we can see that the padding has been updated. So every element you can apply mobile styles, you can apply specific dark mode styles. So if you oh, want oh, I love it. the background to be a different color in dark mode, you can apply a style and that will work in iOS devices. Uh, and so you can get really granular with how you want the email to, to render and look across your devices. And then once you're happy with it, you just click the export button and then you can either export as HTML, MJML, or you can export currently to Clavio and MailChimp, but we do also have many additional ESP integrations coming out very soon. Uh, before export, I I'm, I'm just want to point out that I love how you have a, a size of the email, which is 50, in this case, 53 mm -hmm. kilobytes. So I, I assume you do that so email does not clip, correct? Yeah, so I, I believe it's 102 kilobytes yeah. is when it starts getting clipped. So if you see that, your email is potentially too long. Uh, and so you might want to shorten it in some way, or uh, you can also remove some of the, the custom styling. Um, I see. And, and so what you can do is you can host the images, and then if you want to test it, you can send yourself a test directly from here as well. Nice. And when you said export uh, to Clavio, since we, let's say our team works um, with Clavio mm -hmm. a lot, do you still export uh, HTML, but formatted for Clavio or how does, how do you export to Clavio? So right now, if you export to Clavio, it's going okay. to upload, you're going to add your API key in here, and then it's going to upload the email as HTML into the templates section of Clavio. And then you can use it within a campaign or a flow. As I mentioned, we have an enhanced Clavio integration coming out in the next few weeks where it'll apply Clavio's template language to the images and the text and the buttons so that you can then edit those those components and elements inside of Clavio's drag and drop tool. Right now, it's just uploading straight HTML. So you, if you wanted to make a change, you'd have to come back into the Figma plugin, update it, and then re-export to Clavio. But with the enhanced integration, that's going to that's going to really improve the workflow and make it easier for your team to edit the email. Okay, perfect. So where can people get this? You said there's a free trial. Is it uh, where, where can they go to download it? Yeah, if you go to emailup.com, you'll see the Figma plugin section at the top. Uh, and then if you click on try a fr uh, the plugin for free, or you can also book a custom demo with myself, uh, where I'll show you how it works. Um, but the, the free trial is basically on Figma's uh, community page. Uh, we had 809 people try it out so far. Uh, and so just by going here and clicking open, that'll open up the, the plugin for you. You will need a Figma account to use it. And uh, we also have, uh, obviously, support via email. We have a Discord community that you can join. And then we also have uh, pretty detailed help documentation as well. And who is this, um, like, what is your audience? Like, who, who is your audience? Like, email designers, for sure. But uh, is it, like, agencies or brands uh, mostly? Yeah, so right now it is uh, agencies, definitely. I would say agencies that have some kind of lifecycle uh, marketing component, um, not necessarily coding agencies, but agencies that might do email, but they they want to get more efficient at creating and, and exporting their designs. Obviously, they are Figma users. Uh, we also have technology companies uh, using us. Uh, basically, any any lifecycle or marketing team that uses and collaborates on the emails in Figma would be a good fit for the plugin. Thank you. And after the trial, what is uh, your pricing model? Is it per license, per plugin, per user, or per number? So it's email? per user. You can see the pricing on the website here. And uh, if you choose monthly, uh, you can get 10 exports per month for $19 per person, uh, or unlimited exports for $35 uh, per, per user. Um, the, the growth package also includes ESP integrations into Clavio and MailChimp. And that's, that's kind of the, the key the key differentiator between those two um, options. And if, if you do want to pay yearly, uh, there is a 20% discount on those prices as well. Nice. It's extremely, I mean, it's very affordable. Question about uh, image hosting. What does it mean? 
Right. So you have two options in the plugin. You can export the HTML and it will basically download the images as a separate file. Uh, and you can then manually upload those images uh, to your ESP. Alternatively, if you click on this button here, we will automatically host any images in your email uh, on our own AWS servers. Uh, and so you can you can skip that part. It's a big time saver, and I think that is a you know this can be a useful feature. And, and most people are going to want us to to host their images for them. I see. I see. Andrew, is there any example you can give us of the final email design, not email love, but maybe from a brand or something? Yes. So one of my favorite brands that I think does a lot of image based emails is Funboy. Uh, so here's an example that I mocked up. Uh, this is their welcome email. As you can see, it still still looks great, uh, but instead of using uh, images, this is HTML text. This is a, a bulletproof button that's going to be responsive on mobile. Uh, and so you can see here, you can very quickly and easily customize the design uh, with the plugin uh, to make it look exactly uh, like your own branding. Uh, that's that's very easy to do. This took me probably 10 minutes. Wow, it's time saver. Can you do the preview? I'm curious to see this email in a black, uh, so sorry, dark mode. I, I don't know why. I of course, saying, but... yeah. So if we go to uh, preview. And then, so one thing I didn't optimize was the, Images. Uh, the logo. <laughs> I would I would add, I'd probably add some, uh, like a, a white outline around the, the text here, but this is HTML text, so this looks great in dark mode. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, so it, it. rather than yeah, rather than having it be image only, it's going to be responsive and it's going to look really good for dark mode users. Amazing. Thank you, Andrew, for for the demo. And last question before we go: Is there any special deal you can offer to our our audience? Yes. So for Floium uh, viewers, we can offer a twenty percent discount. Uh, for a limited time. I think that'll be until the end of August. So uh, use the link in the uh, in the notes uh, to get that discount. Thank you very much for your generosity. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly or leave the comments below. We are reading those uh, questions and we are responding to them. And if you are not subscribers to this channel, please subscribe. It does help our channels to grow and help us to produce more valuable content for you.